from Higgins Storm Chasing. It's the 1st of the 5th, 2015, at about 7am. Right, there's been a bit of rain around. None of the flooding that was um, predicted as yet has occurred, which is a good thing. There's been some good falls over the inland Queensland parts as well, southern inland areas, and all the way down the coast from about Rocky South, extending into um, northeast New South Wales there. Okay, what is this? This is a water vapour loop. It shows where the upper low is currently. You can see the dark shaded area there is the cold area, cold core of the upper low, rotating away and moving towards the east. You can see on the eastern side all of the white stuff, which is water vapour being cranked in from moist north easterlies feeding onto the coast. That generates your rain and thunderstorm areas to the east of a surface trough here. So that's the activity there on water vapour loop, current position there, big band of storms pushing out through the Coral Sea. It'd be pretty wild to be in a boat out there as that came across. All right, we will progress on to the current Queensland radar, like such. You can see that there's still quite a fair bit of rain activity extending from the coast from about Bundaberg. Inland there, south through Dolby, the Darling Downs, and extending down into northern New South Wales. The heaviest falls have been along the coast here. I do expect these rain areas over the inland parts, southern inland, to taper off today, uh, continuing through the Darling Downs and really enhancing from, from about Harvey Bay, possibly Bundaberg south, as this low develops, and it is developing right now. We are experiencing some very strong wind gusts through Maroochydore at the moment, ahead of the squally showers and, and rain areas that are being cranked through onto the coast. The Brisbane radar, currently with rainfall totals from Weather Zone, you can see the better falls there. Maryborough has had 50 mil, that's awesome. Harvey Bay, 40, that's awesome. Bundy's 20 odd. Dolby, 30. Good falls around SEQ. Pity they weren't further inland towards um, Longreach where they desperately need it most, unlike us. We really don't need too much rain here. Tweed Coast 50 down there. You can see the showers are still cranking in, starting to develop much more now as the low spins up here near Fraser Island. Remember it spins clockwise, drives all these heavy, this heavy rain and strong winds onto the coast. What we watch out for is, is any slow-moving stationary rain or heavy rain areas that become stationary and cause flash flooding. This can occur as the low shifts, the upper low shifts across and the surface low spins because the whole atmosphere begins to rotate. Let's have a look at where this surface low is on the earth winds. There it is there. This is, this is the very, very near to the surface winds now, and you can see... The surface low is starting to develop there just off the northern tip of Fraser Island. All this easterly, southeasterly winds coming in, smashing into the coast and getting stronger. I didn't bring up any of the wind gusts, but I can tell you what up here at the Sunshine Coast has been a notable difference this morning upon waking up at 5am. You could hear the roar. You can see the surface trough out here through the Darling Downs. See that line through there? That's the surface trough. That's about your cutoff. For moisture being pulled in off, off the coast. All right, dry south southwesterly, westerly winds out the back here over western Queensland, inland parts of New South Wales now. So any rainfall over there that was associated with the upper feature will start to taper off as it runs out of moisture. Not so for areas from Fraser Island south extending inland and down into northeast New South Wales, as this low is forecast to track south down the coast. All right, over the next 24 hours. Just how much heavy rain does become of it is a little bit of an unknown factor. All we know is that, that what is forecast. There are no rivers in flood warnings at the moment. There are not many road closures that we're aware of, even though heaps and heaps of people are asking. There's traffic websites for that. So rivers are behaving themselves. It's the heavy rain hasn't fallen. Well, there's been about 200 up here around the Sunshine Coast as totals for a couple of days uh, and around just to the east of Gympie. Down here further, there's probably been the odd spot of 100 totals. 
down the coast, so then obviously northeast New South Wales. Okay, here is the rainfall forecast for today from the bomb. So you can see here clearly that the 100 mil totals that are being forecast are from about Gympie, Dolby South. And look at that, old Gold Coast, 300 for today. We'll have to see if that happens, but that's what's being put out. Maybe it will happen with this low coming down the coast and spinning rain areas onto the coast here, becoming slow moving and heavy. All right, Brizzy about 150. Totals for the next 24. I shall go out and show you tomorrow how it does clear away rapidly to the south as the low track south tomorrow. So Sunday should be mostly fine. Tomorrow we'll be clearing. Let's go and have a look down into um, into New South Wales today. And you can see that even today in, in northeast New South Wales, down to about Coffs Harbour, there are 100 mil forecast totals there. The Tweed Coast, 150 to 200. And tomorrow it does shift further south down the coast and, and sort of hits that Lismore down to Port Mac again. The areas further south from, say, Port Macquarie and Taree down Newcastle and Sydney are relatively safe from this system. It's starting to show now that it is definitely going to move away. As you'll see on Sunday, it moves off the coast to the southeast, away from the coast. So I'd hedge a fair bit here from Port Macquarie south, safe from flooding and the east coast low. Still get some rain areas. Not so for areas up here in northeast New South Wales and southeast Queensland where we have flood watches and severe weather warnings current from the bomb. Over here, severe weather warning one from Queensland, flood watch, Queensland, severe weather warning for northern rivers, northeast New South Wales, flood watch, north or New South Wales, yeah, northern. So there's still some pretty hefty warnings in place. We'll rehash those. They've been put to page and I'll send some out on the app shortly. Why? What's happening? Let's have a look at the questions on the educational side of it and our side of it for data on as to what is causing it and how. Okay, surface winds forecast at 10 a.m. this morning. Here is your surface low. East coast low, surface low starting to spin up. Driving strong winds onto the coast from Fraser Island south to the border this morning. I can see that on radar starting to spin and you can certainly feel the effects of it here at the Sunshine Coast at the moment. The wind is gusty and it's starting to howl. We may see these increase to damaging, which is 90 k's on the exposed coast. Anywhere inland just further, you get a little bit more protected because the coast and the landmass breaks it up. Elevated terrain areas along the, the ranges, such as Toowoomba Warwick, they also too might, may experience some um, very strong wind gusts through there. Possibly the odd bit of damage, a few tree branches down here and there. We'll just have to wait and see how far it drives in there. And as we progress to the upper level side of things, you can see the upper level low out here this morning near Roma spinning away. Very strong upper level winds ripping down the coast down in through Brisbane and all that sort of stuff through the downs. Now that pulls rain areas to the south. All right, so they're not coming back onto the northeast in southeast Queensland yet, but we can still get some spinny rain areas and heavy falls there onto the coast in northeast New South Wales. Let's progress. 4 p.m. this afternoon, the upper level low continues to slowly track towards the east. Onshore winds down here in northeast New South Wales. There's the upper levels. Full rotation. Look at that. 4 p.m. The surface feature. Surface low. What's it doing? Here it is. It's still developing there near Fraser Island. Continuing to pump and crank in. Strong northeast, southeast winds along the coast here. In about as far as the Darling Downs. Central Darling Downs. You can see the cutoff through there. So heavy rain areas possible from Fraser Island south down into northeast New South Wales where they come on as well. We will go and have a look at tomorrow morning at what happens with the surface feature, the low. It begins to track south and you can see that it, it's pretty much from the Tweed coast down into northeast New South Wales. The strongest winds pulling now onto the northeast New South Wales coastal districts. 
we will start to see a clearance through here of south, drier southwest winds through through southeast Queensland districts tomorrow morning. And there's the upper level low overhead tomorrow morning with most of your weather being produced on the southern side of that also drier southwesterlies up around the back of it. That's your 24 hour outlook. Now let's have a look at some um, some storm forecast. There is instability involved with this. We could see thunderstorms this afternoon develop. That's at 4 p.m. this afternoon. The blue shaded areas indicate instability. Neg 4 is getting up there, moderate instability. So as this cold pool tracks across and the surface low spins up here, we may see some severe thunderstorms develop through the Wide Bay Burnett district and just generally the odd rumble of thunder and some storms coming in off the ocean here uh, in the southeast coast districts. All right, so just to, uh, to keep an eye out on those. Just going to have a look at what the, the atmosphere looks like. Okay, so here's your winds. You can see the low-level winds coming in, spinning around, uh, and then back to the northwest. So you get a rotation in the atmosphere, turning with height. The lifted index is the grey line, plenty there, fair bit of moisture. So we could get some severe thunderstorms that become slow moving, stationary and spin. There you go. All right, that will do for from me. I will bring up something else here. No, I won't. My computer's being silly. Um, oh, I'll find it. No, I won't. It's too late. Too bad. Too sad. Okay, that's the current situation as standing. Stay safe, everyone. We'll continue to put out push notifications via our app, which is available on Android and Apple, and post warnings to page and answer some of the questions, but you may receive an engage signal, beep, 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 if those questions are becoming a little bit silly when there's places that you can go and quickly research those answers, such as traffic school closures and that sort of stuff. All right, stay safe, everyone. Talk to you later on this afternoon. Cheers, guys.